wonder where that Miss L has gone. Miss L, Miss L, where are you? Ah. Ta-da! Do you want to come and do an experiment with me? Alright. Alright, come on, let's go to the lab. Uh, probably don't need that, huh? The secret lab, the secret lab. Yeah. So, Miss L, what are you doing there? I'm trying to figure out why this torch doesn't work. Okay, well, what do you think it might be? Flat. Okay, so it might be the battery that's crooked. Yeah. Mm, what should we do? Well, fix it. Okay, so what do we need? A battery. A battery. I've got a battery. Hang on a sec. Um... There you go. Uh, why would that be a battery? What is it? It's a potato. Are you sure? Yes. I reckon it's a battery. No. It's a battery. I'm telling you it's a battery. I don't think it's a battery. Well, I'll show you, okay? So, yes. this is a potato. There's no denying it. It's definitely a potato. It smells like a potato. It tastes like a potato. Ah. And it is a potato. There's no denying it. <laughs> so, how can we make a battery out of it? Any thoughts? No. All right. So, what are you doing? <laughs> so, to make a battery, what you need is you need two different types of metal, and you need sort of an acid type stuff. We need some way to measure what our potato or our potato battery is producing. And we can do that by using a multimeter, or in this case, we're going to be using a voltmeter. What that'll do is it'll tell us how much voltage is available or being produced by our potato battery. So how does this work? If we turn it to voltage and we have a look at the front there, you can see a lot of figures going around all over the place. And they that's called ghosting. That doesn't really measure anything. But just to show you what it does do, is I've got a 9 volt battery here and if I connect that up we'll see what it does. So I've connected my 9 volt battery here and what does the multimeter say? It says 9.22 volts. So that's how a voltmeter works, that is what it will show us. So what is our potato battery measure or how much voltage is there? Let's have a look. Let's put it into our potato. We've still got no voltage. But, if we get two bits of metal and we stick them in the potato, we might try and maybe this way. Okay, this piece of metal, and we put them in like that. And now, gold. That's, do you want to try? How about gold? Can you put this red one on that copper? Or the brass, and you just hold it like that, and I'll hold that one. So that's producing a little over 0.3 of a volt. I've got an idea. Why don't we use some different types of metal to stick in the potato? Yeah, sounds good. So we'll try. Oh, mm -hmm. fell over. We'll try another piece of metal. Just watch your fingers there. We will try the gold. Brass, let's try brass. Okay, let's try F brass. Stick that in. And you can try that again. Now we're measuring about 0.45 of a volt. So that's pretty good. Just for something different, let's try a lemon. Let's see what that does. Okay, so let's try. Looks like a lemony tomato. Let's try. We just watched lemony snickets, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, so let's try copper. Yeah. Mm. Is that copper? That's copper. And let's try Ooh. maybe galvanized iron. Look. So we've we've got. Um, you want to put your lead on there again, please? Aww. So you can put that one on there. Um, smells lemony to me. Smells lemony fresh, doesn't it? Well, that's pretty impressive. That's 0.9 of a volt, and that's from our lemon, of course. Excellent. That's what we should do. Is we'll get rid of we'll get rid of the aluminium, 
and we'll see if the potato's any good. If we just use some copper oh. and a Aluminium. nail. So do you want to try that again, please? Do you want to try your lead on there, please? So that's still with the potato, but we're getting about 0.6 of a volt there. So you can see it depends on what the acid is made of, the different types of acid. But maybe we might might have enough to light up an LED. So we'll just look together. Watermelon. A watermelon. Oh, I don't think there's got enough acid in it. But we'll try and connect these together now. Can I have the lemon, please? We'll just get rid of some of the stuff over here. Lemon. I'll get rid of those. He's pretty much and, Thank you. All right, so we'll put that back in there. Otherwise, we can't make a, a battery. So we'll connect that one to that one. And then, whoops, that should be about right. You can do that in a while. So now we'll check, can you, can you hook that one onto the nail, please? Just put it on the nail. So potato plus lemon equals, what have we got? 1.6 volts. I wonder if that's enough to light up a little LED. That's a good idea. We'll try that. So probably the easiest way to explain how to hook up our little lemon slash potato battery is just, I'll draw it on the whiteboard. Hang on a sec. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll draw a little potato. Um, it's not a particularly happy potato. Put a few little eyes in here and there. Okay, we've got that done. Okay, so don't laugh, but here's my attempt at a lemon. It's um, yeah, looking pretty sad actually, to be quite honest. Probably use, yeah, we'll put a smiley face on him, I think. That might make him a bit happier. So next is our LED, light emitting diode. Just draw a little base on it there. There's a long leg and a short leg. Now the long leg is the positive and the short leg is the negative. That's pretty important because it'll only work one way. So we'll just stick a bit of copper in our potato and we'll stick another bit of copper in our lemon and now we need to stick in a nail a galvanized iron nail that is so we'll just draw that in the spud let's put him in there a little bit of a head on top of the nail and one in the lemon and we're really ready for our connections now we'll go from the the nail to the negative side of the led and that's that one done and then we'll go from the copper into the positive side of the LED. And all we have to do now is join the nail to the copper. So the, um, the nail in the potato to the copper in the lemon. And of course, after that, boing, 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 you should have a light in your LED. Pretty cool, huh? Have a close look. You mightn't be able to see it. Miss L, would you like to turn off the light for us, please? Yes, I may. <gasps> that would be so delightful. And what do you notice? It's not on. Yes, it is. It's on, but I can't. It's only very little, that's true. But if we added more potatoes and, and bits and pieces, it'd get brighter. So do you want to put the light back on, please? See if it goes off and on. You turn the light on, please. <laughs> no. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So, do you think that this potato and the lemon would be strong enough to light up our torch? No, not really. You can see it's only very dull, isn't it? Yeah. But we've made a battery. Should I get you a proper battery now? Yes. Okay. Back in a sec. Alrighty, there's your new battery. Is that any good? Try that. Three. There we go. Cool. So even though this sort of stuff is really good for playing, it's not really uh, useful for torches and stuff like that. But it's a good experiment to do with the kids. Bye. Yeah.